high school alumni games are a mixed bag, from the serious to the silly. The current varsity usually scrimmages against returning alums of many ages, and that means many types of results. Archer's alumni game comes in the form of the Jimmy Hausberg Invitational, or JHI. Hausberg is the father of 2011 basketball alum Danielle Hausberg. This is the third annual JHI, and it's the outgrowth of Jimmy's 50-foot buzzer beater in the inaugural game. And thus, a wacky Archer original was born. For this year's game, pregame prognosticators, pundits, and Vegas handicappers put the alums as a heavy favorite. Did the refs have other ideas? We shall see. The tens of fans in the stands at Santa Monica College were repeatedly reminded by public address announcements that no wagering is permitted. For the alums, 2013 graduate Lindsay Levesque, a freshman at UC Santa Barbara, is just fine playing with the roster of the Archer faculty. No, I think it'll make it more interesting. It'll be pretty fair, I think. I think the current varsity needs need some help. For Lindsay and fellow alum Sienna Lennon of Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, it may be the first time they've had teammates with beards. <laughs> yes, I did realize that. And two, I think, right? Yeah, two of them. Right? Still in all-girls school, yes. Right. Yeah, either alumni coaches or teachers. I wish this team could get together more often and ball out. All right, now it's game time. The alums in their thrown-together uniforms closely resembling the color white and the varsity looking good in their all-purple getup, led by head coach Denny Lennon. First quarter action, no score. The alums crash the boards and miss. The varsity rebounds and Maya Barnett, the long clearing pass ahead to Alyssa Downer near the hoop. She drops in the layup and the varsity leads 2-0. Other end, the alums with five guys on the floor. Completely fair fight. Jimmy Hausberg, the player, coach, event founder, and all-around nice guy, is long on the three ball. But Archer teacher Jared Donald is there with the putback, and the alums lead 7-3. Then it's time for the start of the Maya Barnett show. Backing down her defender, Maya spots up the foul line jumper. That drops, and the alums lead the varsity 9-6 after a quarter. Second quarter action now. Hausberg rebounds for the alums and starts the break with a pass that defies description. Sienna Lennon on the other end, but she can't connect. So her big brother Vaughn cleans up her mess. Vaughn says, that's okay, sis. And the alums lead by seven. Final minute of the half, it gets closer. Maya Barnett of the varsity straight to the cup with a spin along the way, and it drops. And the alums lead 19-16 at halftime. And for halftime entertainment, a double dribble of the legal variety, courtesy a young man playing for the Archer alums, Miles Sabalos. Third quarter, 1918 alumni, but not for long. Marley Rice comes up court and only a couple steps past the midcourt stripe. She lets go of a moon ball that swishes through. Wow! This gives the alums a 22-18 advantage. Then Rice up court to Lindsay Levesque. Lindsay can't connect, but we'll call this a pass off the glass to Vaughn Lennon. He gets it to drop, and it's 24-18 alumni at this point. Later, good ball movement by the alums. Coco Maurice here all by her lonesome under the hoop. She lays it in, and the alums lead 26-20 mid-third. Other end, the Maya Barnett show continues. Watch Maya slice through the stifling alumni defense with little effort. The nifty layup here cuts the varsity deficit to 26-22. Going the other way, Miles Sabalas the steal. Miles Sabalas steams up court. Miles Sabalas runs into a defensive log jam, but no problem. He hits the scoop shot, and the alums lead 32-28 after three quarters of play. Fourth quarter, the varsity ties it up here. Barnett up court, and Maya heads for the three line and the lead. That shot's a bit long, but Sarah Walston is on the other end with the rebound and the stick back. And we're all tied up at lucky 32s with six and a half left in the ball game. Next varsity possession, it's Barnett, the give and go off the inbounds play. Maya spots up for the long two and she gets it to drop. And the varsity have their first lead in a long time. It's 34-32 with 5.50 to go. Next time down the floor, the varsity ups their lead with the help of Rachel Mangan. She rebounds her own miss and gets the second chance hoop to drop. The varsity has a 36-33 lead with 5.20 to go. 
Two and a half left. Varsity by four and looking for more. Alyssa Downer feeds Mangan, and Rachel tees up a three ball. That goes in, and this one gives the varsity an improbable 42-35 lead in crunch time. Under two minutes left. Varsity by five. Hausberg the steal for the alums. Hausberg steams towards the hoop, and Hausberg gets the layup to drop. This makes it a 42-39 game with 1.45 to go. But here's where the varsity ices the game. Barnett can't get it to drop, but Brianna Johnson is there with the rebound and the putback. This ups the varsity advantage to 44-39 with 1.30 to go. And the varsity hang on for a 48-43 win over a game but overmatched alumni squad featuring teachers, parents, siblings, and former players. The MVP, varsity standout Rachel Mangan. The junior forward, a big part of the surprising varsity win. Most impressive, she returned to action after a collision that caused her to bleed on the court. A few people have really sharp elbows, and she was going for a rebound, and she went for my face. It's really fun and different, and it gets you into a different mindset than playing in a game against other girls. And I think it helps our team take a step forward, playing against people who are taller than anyone we're ever going to play against in a high school game. This will probably eat at me. Um, you know, I've been coming the last couple of years, uh, taking it both times, really expecting to come out with a victory tonight. And uh, to walk out with a loss, it hurts. I, I think I might just go home, shut it down for the night. Yeah, it was like an SC basketball game tonight, you know, about a crowd of 150 or maybe something like that. But it's okay. We're going to get it back. And uh, we had fun. And the girls had fun. And, and really for the alumni coming back and playing in this game, it's, uh, they all said how much fun it is. So uh, next year we get Maya. So that's a pretty good thing. They are not going to win next year because this team will be amazing because I'll be on it and I'll be able to play with the girls I've played with before, which is really fun. I mean, it's fun playing against alumni. It's fun playing girls that I've actually been able to play with already and then having to play against them is really fun especially playing against my own teachers my English teacher was out there playing against me and it's it's a great um, experience I have here at Archer and I can't wait to play next year at the Jimmy Hausberg Invitational aka the JHI aka the Archer alumni game I'm Jake Downey reporting for MaxPreps.com in Santa Monica California